Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Air Arms S510 XS in 25 caliber. So the excess models fall into the ultimate sporter family and this was announced at SHOT Show 2018 uh, for us here in the US and represents really Air Arms' first foray into a regulated sporting rifle. They've made target rifles and, and obviously the Galahad which is a bullpup but really their first uh, go at putting a regulator inside of their 500, 510 series. So uh, really exciting to see that. But full disclosure, guys, we have, uh, this has taken a little bit longer than normal to test this out here. We had a gun uh, from the first shipment, which was a couple months ago. Uh, we had some problems with it, just full disclosure for you guys. Um, address them with air arms. Uh, they have, yeah, obviously, this is a second shipment gun. They've confirmed that the performance on these is a two-spec, good to go. Uh, so we are obviously going to find out if that's still the case. Had a little regulator problem with the first one. Uh, so hopefully this is going to perform much better. We'll find out. So the 510 XS Ultimate Sporter models are available in a few different stock styles, 177, 22, and 25, of course. Uh, you have the laminate you see here, which features a QTEC moderator on the end of the shroud and a shorter air cylinder, uh, 186 cc's roughly. And then you have the extra length guns, which are available both in walnut and a black soft touch, which is a really good looking rifle. They don't have the QTEC, but they have a much longer cylinder, so you're gonna get considerably more shots out of those than you are out of this. So starting at the front, of course, we do have that QTEC moderator and a fully shrouded Lothar Walther barrel. We usually get very good accuracy out of air arms guns, and this is going to be no exception, I'm sure. We'll find out when we get it to the range, though, of course. Uh, under the threaded fill cover here, we do have Air Arms' normal T-bar style fitting, which comes with their proprietary fill adapter threaded to 1 8 BSPP on the end, so you are going to need a uh, male quick disconnect fitting off of the website there if you are going to be adapting it to a hose with a QD on it already. Just slips over, find your way through that little locking piece there and then you turn it locks it in you're good to fill it there now these guns fill up to 250 bar which is a little higher than what we've seen uh, in the past from air arms but obviously they're using that higher fill pressure uh, with the regulator to give you a few more shots flipping the laminate stock over we do have a uit rail on the bottom here and it will come with a swivel stud that you can change the position wherever you want on the rail. I've added a bipod here just to show you. We do sell something similar to this on the website, uh, but you can also adapt like a UTG bipod. They sell an adapter that'll allow you to put a, you know, Picatinny mounted bipod on this swivel stud as well. So there's a lot of options there for accessorizing, whatever you want to do. Moving back, obviously the stock kind of swells down just a little bit, but you do have the Air Arms pressure gauge under there, which is color coded, very easy to use. And then moving back still, we have the standard S510 trigger, which is typically a very good trigger, uh, definitely match grade in every way and fully adjustable, of course, breaking nice and clean right out of the box for us. Of course, as is standard for the S510, S500 line, you have a side lever cocking system, very easy, very smooth to operate. And we do have a 10 shot rotary magazine here in 25 caliber. They're 10 shot in all three calibers actually. And you get two of them, which I love. I love getting an extra magazine with the gun. Plenty of shots there between the two. So very easy to keep the second one loaded and on hand. One thing I should also mention, very easy to decock these rifles. All you have to do is you just hold the side lever back like that. You go ahead, pull the trigger and you are all good to go all safe at that point. Uh, safety is on the trigger like all of the air arm stuff we do see. I'm not a fan of that. It's not like it's not going to work. It definitely does its job in stopping you from pulling the trigger. I just don't like the positioning of it personally. Another thing you'll notice looking at the breech, a brand new style power adjuster. So this is a very easy to reach uh, adjuster here on the side. And then you have your normal kind of scaling on the left hand side of the action there and you get five positive clicks. So uh, we're in the high power setting. One, two, three, four more. So five total low to high. Um, nice little uh, operation upgrade here. They used to be kind of a free form adjuster and we saw with the Galahad the first time they put those indents in. Uh, and I really like that they made that upgrade here on the 510 series. Up top, we do have an 11 millimeter dovetail. Now you guys will notice I use Picatinny rings for this uh, review today. Uh, it's just what I had on the scope. This is an Aon 8 to 32. We just got a bunch of these in uh, across their line. So uh, worth checking out, you know, not a bad budget scope. 
uh, especially for the PCPs. I don't think they rate them for spring guns, but for a PCP, these are a really good option, and they got a bunch of cool reticles out there as well. Uh, used a UTG dovetail to weaver adapter that slips on the inside of the rings. They're actually really handy to have around if you find yourself going back and forth, uh, moving scopes between different rifles. They're very handy. Uh, it, talking about the stock in a little bit more detail, guys, uh, so obviously a Minelli stock as we've seen before, and this is the standard kind of ultimate sporter style stock in this laminate here. So you get the adjustable cheek piece, uh, up and down adjustment, you get that rear swivel stud as well on the back there. Uh, single Allen key to adjust, very easy system to use. And then you get an adjustable, vertically adjustable at least, uh, butt pad as well. So nice little feature there. You can see I've bumped it down a little bit for myself just to make things a little bit more comfortable. It brings the gun up uh, as I'm shouldering it. So personally, it's just a, a feel I like. The gun feels great. Obviously fit and finish is top quality. It's air arms, you expect nothing less. Um, I'm really excited to see how this one shoots. We're going to go ahead, chronograph everything, probably do a couple of different pellets depending on what shoots best today. And of course, the accuracy testing is the big one. We're expecting great things from this, but we'll get everything done out on the range. We'll see you out there. All right, guys, so 45 yards, all 10 shot groups with the S510XS here. Starting with the JSB King Heavies, you got uh, just under an inch for all 10 shots, so from here to there is about 0.95 inches. So pretty good group there. Certainly not what we were expecting. Uh, I wouldn't expect those heavier pellets to shoot well. I'm thinking this gun's gonna like the regular Kings, which is exactly what ended up happening. Uh, but those Predator GTOs right here, 0.85, uh, really surprised me quite a bit for the non-lead pellet flying a little bit faster. A really nice 10 shot group, but as expected, the JSB Kings, all 10 shots, 0.7, under three quarters of an inch. Probably could have done a little bit better, uh, but honestly, guys, this is basically one big hole. This is going to do the job for you, without a doubt. Great results out of the S510XS. Looking over our chronograph results, this is really exactly what we expected out of the S510XS, a very tight extreme spread across all three pellets. And we did go ahead and, and chronograph all three pellets because we were really interested to see the performance differences and really wanted to see if we were getting that 44 to 45 foot pounds that Air Arms was claiming. Our shot counts right around 25 shots per fill. You'll notice that the heavier King heavies uh, do actually give us a couple more shots, uh, but right around that 44 foot pound mark with those heavier pellets, uh, you're still getting good energy out of both the Predator GTOs and the Kings, the 25.4 versions, tight standard deviations, and overall very good performance, which is exactly what we were expecting out of this S510XS. And looking over our power levels on the XS, uh, with those 25.4 Kings that shot the best for us, you're not seeing much of a drop from the highest power down to power level four, uh, just maybe 20 to 30 feet per second and not a huge shot increase, but you definitely see a big jump when you get to power level three, uh, running right about 28 foot pounds, 35 shots is very good. And for those of you that might wanna shoot this indoors, uh, that second power level is gonna do really well for you. Uh, and to be quite honest, guys, when we got down to the lowest setting, not really worth it to see how many shots it would do as the gun's only putting out about five foot pounds. I'm gonna say probably over 100, uh, but certainly this should give you guys a good idea of what you can expect out of the XS with the various power settings.
Before we get to the wrap up, guys, don't forget to click that like button down below the video. Let us know what you thought about the gun today. Uh, if you thought the performance was good, bad, indifferent, whatever you think, let us know down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe as always. As far as the S510XS goes, especially in this 25 caliber, really glad to see that power up. Uh, my only two gripes with the gun, the safety on the trigger, I've said it before with Air Arms guns, and I'm not a huge fan of the indexing system for the magazines, the little posts, sometimes they get bent. Just not a fan. Um, those are my only two real gripes with this gun, though. Obviously, the performance on um, the gun we have here on the table was very, very good. Exactly what I would expect out of an Air Arms gun, especially something in this price point. Uh, you got quiet performance, obviously accuracy for days. A uh, little bit higher fill pressure on it, not that that's a big deal. Love the adjustability of the Ultimate Sporter stock, and the regulator certainly seems to be doing its job in a big way. Very consistent results and a decent number of shots out of a really small cylinder. So that's the S510XS in the nutshell for you guys. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.